Hi everyone. That was a big storm in terms of snowfall. Here we are looking at another storm already moving into Southern California. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Here are just a few photos of the snow across our mountains. And it wasn't just mountains. Snowfall was measured down to 1,000 feet in the Inland Empire. The main impact now is with the new storm coming in and the center of that storm swinging through early Wednesday across Southern California. For more unusually cold and windy weather and a brief atmospheric river Tuesday night, Wednesday. Here are some of the snow totals. Just a few totals on the map here. Julian, 25 inches. Wrightwood, 49. Bear Mountain Snow Summit, 75. You can look through these totals at your leisure. Significant snowfall in some places, potentially record-breaking snowfall. Even 20 inches all the way down to Devor in the Cajon Pass. If you're heading out to the mountains, check Quick Map. Quick Map Caltrans is your source of real-time road closures and incidents that are reported by Caltrans and CHP, California Highway Patrol. We also produce on this map here in the link shown above the actual snowfall reports that we receive at the National Weather Service. Here's a look at the rainfall from the recent storm. Left, mostly San Diego, Riverside County, right, Orange County, San Bernardino, and Western Riverside. Take a look at the rainfall, and a lot of this was snowfall in your location. The water of the snow. So at the top of San Gregonio, we can see the measurement of how much new water that fell, snow water equivalent it's called, was just over five inches. Here's a look at the precipitation and our averages. The recent rainfall has bumped most areas above average, significantly above average in some of our mountain locations. What is average? It's a 30 year long term average during the water year, October to September. Here are the key points. Another unusually cold storm. It's already moving into Southern California, but the main storm arrives Wednesday. That'll be accompanied by an atmospheric river and heavy precipitation Tuesday night and Wednesday. It's nearly as cold as the last storm. Rainfall and snowfall totals about a third as much as what we did see with the prior storm, however. Still the potential for some wind damage and the blowing and drifting snow. Wind, especially in our deserts, Tuesday night and Wednesday. The seas will be rough, so surf will increase and conditions will become hazardous for small craft over the waters. Some of the heavy rain will be enough for some urban flooding and additional snowfall one to two feet. Here's the weather pattern and why we mean it's a similar storm in terms of the cold nature. The air mass is coming straight from Alaska, north to south as shown here. That's going to pick up the wind and continue to produce the bands of precipitation. The main storm doesn't arrive until Tuesday night and Wednesday and that's even colder. That main storm system swings through Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, and by Wednesday, it's exiting the region. By Wednesday afternoon, it's exiting. So showers will continue Wednesday afternoon. By Thursday, you can see the strong jet stream has lifted to the north and exited to the east. Here's a view of the atmospheric river for early Wednesday. This is the same atmospheric river depicted by three different models. Okay, here's what you're looking for. Additional precipitation through Wednesday. This is storm total. So really two storms in one shown here. Half inch to around an inch coast and valleys. One to two inches of new water, mostly snow, mountains. A Little bit of spillover into the deserts. Here's the latest snowfall depiction, one to two feet in the mountains. That'll be above 5,000 feet, but we will see snow accumulation 
all the way down to two to 3,000 feet. So note the sharp gradient. There will be significant snow even at the 4,000 foot elevation. Okay, uh, the wind gusts. It looks like the winds will be increasing tonight through Tuesday morning with storm number one. Main impact in the deserts and desert slopes is shown here. Gusty strong winds in the passes over 50 miles per hour. Now the main storm as mentioned is Tuesday night and Wednesday. So even stronger winds, but including coastal and valley areas where some winds will gust over 40 miles an hour. That can cause impact with winds 40 miles per hour. The desert slopes, some severe winds could cause some additional damage in those areas. The weather pattern remains unsettled in the west. So even when we get into next Monday in March and through the week, potential for a stationary storm focused over central Northern California. Okay, the extended outlook looks unsettled and cold. Much below average, high confidence for that, and above average precipitation focused on central Northern California this time. That'll be in early March as shown here. Here are the key points. Another unusually cold storm. It's already moving into Southern California, but the main storm arrives Wednesday. That'll be accompanied by an atmospheric river and heavy precipitation Tuesday night and Wednesday. It's nearly as cold as the last storm. Rainfall and snowfall totals about a third as much as what we did see with the prior storm, however. Still the potential for some wind damage and the blowing and drifting snow. Wind, especially in our deserts, Tuesday night and Wednesday. The seas will be rough, so surf will increase and conditions will become hazardous for small craft over the waters. Some of the heavy rain will be enough for some urban flooding and additional snowfall one to two feet.